I'm here in Blackboard Collaborate Ultra and I'm going to walk you through some of the things that you probably need to think about if you are going to be recording in this space. So first let's do what you're going to do which is share files and let's find Collaborate somewhere. Alright, so you can browse or you can drag and drop files, but make sure that they're PowerPoint or PDF or image files, not Word files, and if they are PDF files, know that you are going to lose your animations and your transitions, so if those are important, there's another way that you can access everything. All right, so now that I have my files here, I can share now. And there they go. Now I can do this because I'm a moderator. Moderators and presenters are able to do this. So here, if you see um, on this tab, you can see that I am a moderator. Now, if you enter these rooms that I've established for you in Blackboard Collaborate, not the course room overall, but the individual rooms, you will be able to enter, a, enter as a moderator. And that gives you certain powers, which is always nice. <laughs> it's great to have power. Um, so one of those things is that you can start recording a session. So you go over here to the left and you press the start recording button and you get session is being recorded. Hooray! All right, so we'll walk through my top 10, some of which I've already shown you, and uh, do a few more. Now, you may want to get this pointer out and show people things with the pointer. And the problem is that neither my mouse nor the pointer will actually show up on the recording. So if you really want me to see something, you're going to want to use these little tools over here, the pencil or the shape, maybe the rectangle, to highlight things on your PowerPoint if you've brought it into Blackboard Collaborate. So just be aware of that. Um, you can change your color and do different things. You make an ellipse. So you can, I, I will be able to see all this on the recording, but I will not be able to see the little hand or the little pointer itself. Okay, so if I move forward, you're going to go to your e-learning class and through the menu or group, you're going to go to Blackboard Collaborate and you're going to go to an open session room. Um, I don't know if five is enough. I don't know if five is too many. Um, <laughs> given that we have 45 students and we have a lot of people who seem to want to do this on their own, then maybe I need to set up 10 rooms. But the way I set them up, you are all moderators and you can even invite someone else to call in. So if you have, you know, someone from a different session who's going to be your audience, that's fine. You can have an audience. Now, um, you may want to take a little tour. So you can enter the session and do Tell Me About Collaborate, as you can tell right over here. It's not that hard. And um, there's even a help uh, thing that you can go to and read more about Blackboard Collaborate. You can use your phone for audio. So if you keep getting kicked out of the session, you can actually put your computer on mute and call in. Um, if you have an issue, since you're a moderator, you can actually report an issue. And we have an e-learning team that's on hand 24 hours a day, which is one of the reasons why I like Collaborate over some other tools. There's someone who can help you. And so you can, uh, you can report this issue and submit. So I like these things. Right now, I'm still recording. Other people in the session cannot see that I'm recording. So it says when I started the recording, but they still have the ability to start another recording. So please, I'm going to get to some rules and we're going to talk about them in a minute. Um, so you're going to want to upload your video, uh, your visuals. And I went through that earlier. You go to share files. Um, it's here on this little third tab there. Um, 
Now that may not, that's, as I said, PowerPoint or PDF, not Word or Excel, um, not videos from YouTube. There are other ways to address those things. So you can drag or drop, you can browse to get to your files. If you do upload PowerPoints into uh, Collaborate, it's nice and easy to work with them and you can do some cool things. Um, you can put your lines on here to draw attention to things. But at the same time, they might not look the same. So double check. The more complex your PowerPoint is, the more difficult it is uh, to make sure that it'll look the same. And it, it probably is not going to show any of your animations or transitions. And that means, you know, if you had numbers that were going to appear and they were important to your points, they're not going to show up. So be careful. This is one of those times when you want to be really careful. If you really need those transitions, you can share your application or screen. And this allows you to show PowerPoints with animations, videos, Word, Excel, etc. Um, other other programs. Think about how you want to introduce that. Make sure you're practiced and you're comfortable with it. Make sure everything shows up the way you want on the video. So if you're going to do this <laughs> and you know that sometimes videos will take a while um, and YouTube videos. So if you want to have a short little video at any part, um, make sure that you have someone else in your session when you're recording to see if they can hear the video because the sound settings are important and making sure that the sound is captured in the video recording that you made. It's your responsibility. So find out if they can hear it. If there is sound, audio, make sure it's something that's in the recording and make sure that your audience has their settings configured right. So invite other people in. You know, if this is a two and a half, three minute thing and you've already practiced, then, you know, it's easy enough to coordinate with some other people to have them just listen and make sure things are working for you. And then you can do the same for them. Um, you're going to want to play the video uh, in the session before you record. So make sure it works. Make sure it fits with your your whole plan. So who can record a session, an organizer or a moderator? Um, if you are not a moderator, you can't record, and when you go over here, you will not see that ability to record. Right now, I am recording, so I would click this to stop recording, or I could click it if it, I wasn't recording, and it would say start recording, um, right, like it does here. So uh, if, if you have entered the regular classroom, you will not be able to start recording because you cannot enter there as a moderator. And I am the only organizer, I think, I'm uh, as the professor. It's possible that my TA is also an organizer. Okay, so here are my rules. Only one person may record because what happens is you can have someone else turn off your recording. If you are in a session with other people. You can see who's there. See, you see a little number over here. You can see um, how many attendees you have. And so if someone enters the room, you will know it if you are the, <laughs> the person who entered <laughs> earlier. So, um, so you'll know when you were in the room, um, you will know if someone else comes in. If you do come into a room, be quiet. So if you see someone is in there, don't mess with their stuff. Part of the problem is if they have um, slides up here, you are also entering as a moderator. So you could change their slides. You could move things around. You could close out of and stop sharing their, their slides for, during a time when they are trying to record. So if you enter a room and you don't need to be there, you shouldn't be there, maybe you wanna get out or you wanna stay silent. Um, you can chat. You can say, way to go, and that will show up. So right now we are recording the messages in the chat. So when I download the recording, these messages are going to show up as well. You can change your settings. So my status and settings can be happy or surprised. Oh my gosh, I just entered the room and I shouldn't have. Um, I can be confused if I don't understand what someone is doing. I can ask the person to go faster 
or go slower um, who's speaking. I can I can clear everything and I can say I agree with you. So I can say everybody who agrees I want to see a green check mark next to their name. Um, so there are some really neat things you can do. As a moderator you can also uh, if you go over here to share content which is on that third tab on the right um, you can do polling, you can do breakout groups, you can do a blank whiteboard, so hooray whiteboard, and you can draw on that or write on that. Um, hello! And that will show up in your video. I don't really think that you'll need to do that for your presentations. You can go back to where you were before. You've uploaded your visual, and maybe you want to share your screen, check your sound settings, record the session, here are the recording rules. Oh yes, announce you're going to begin recording, announce when you end the recording, and then check for your recording afterwards. So at Blackboard Collaborate, you will see recordings. You can download them as MP4s. Um, you can post them elsewhere. You can watch them, whatever you want to do. Um, sometimes it can take 24 hours to get those recordings up, so make sure you build in time so that you can view your recordings. Um, definitely, if you do have an audience, encourage them to chat or ask questions in the chat. So if they don't understand something, they can put their questions there. Uh, you can take or add a profile picture. I'd urge you to do this before you present, because as you can tell, having that picture with a voiceover makes it seem more personal and makes you seem more professional. So put a nice profile picture in there. All you have to do is drag and drop right here on this settings tab. Um, just click there on the little person icon that looks like this but is next to your name and you can put a picture there and, uh, and it, it just gives you a little more polish. Um, so please encourage people to take or add a profile picture and um, play with the settings. If you do have an audience and you want to take a poll at the end um, to kind of build in some um, uh, question and answer, that's fine. Just know that the poll is not captured by your recording. So if you do take a poll, I am not going to see it in the recording, so you need to narrate. I've just asked everyone here, and there are four people, your chat should be up, uh, to tell me whatever. And the poll will show up a little bit like the settings box, only it's something people can click to say yes or no. Um, so if I want to do a poll, I can go back to share files and I can do polling and I can say um, does everyone understand uh, um, the new rule start okay so I think this is showing up in my recording because I'm using a different tool, <laughs> but I don't think that my poll is showing up in the Blackboard Collaborate uh, recording. So it's so exciting. All right, but you can see how many people are in your room and how many have responded. And hooray, we can all see this, but it doesn't actually get recorded. But it's a, it's a nice way to end. Um, I hope that this has helped. We are all experimenting and playing with this. Go ahead and do it multiple times, but uh, you know it's kind of fun, and it's a way to interact with our peers and to um, work with our system. So I am going to now stop recording, and I hope that you guys have a great day. When you're ready to exit the session, you click over here and you can leave your session. And like I said before, if you get in a situation where you can't hear very well, you have a bad audio connection, dial in and use your phone for the audio. And so you'll get that phone number with the pen and you could just put your screen on mute and use your phone for the connection. And usually it's much more clear. So if you keep getting kicked out and you're frustrated, this is a good way to resolve that situation. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.